Сюда, сюда! Давай идем, уже недалеко. Ш, мой ангел, твой безумный папа говорит, что мы почти пришли. Посмотри, оно еще здесь. Вот оно! Это прекрасно. Это чудо. Знак Божий. Это становится большим. Мы должны отсюда уйти. Что? Почему? Сейчас! Sixteen-year-old sisters Mandy and Caitlin Winslow. The pair disappeared from their stepfather's Red Falls trailer home two weeks ago, only to reappear recently, coinciding with the mysterious deaths of three Red Falls residents. Coinciding. I'm guessing I wouldn't be looking at their profiles unless someone thought these girls were directly involved. Actually, most of the angry citizens of Red Falls hold the twins responsible. It seems Mandy and Caitlin Winslow are practitioners in the ancient art of witchcraft. Witchcraft? The pilgrims want justice. The officer who contacted me, Sheriff Bud Smith, is concerned about the twins' safety. Are you telling me we're driving into a witch hunt, Mulder? If you want to catch witches, you have to go on a witch hunt, Scully. And I assume there's a reason other than one of the girls wears a pentagram to make you believe they both practice witchcraft. Those fingers in my hair, that sly come hither stared. Do I have to recite the rest of the lyrics? I got the joke, Mulder. Come on, Scully, you know the words. Sing with me. Mulder, these victims were strangled, brutalized in horrific ways with someone's bare hands. An assailant profile would have to start with a very large, extremely powerful male. And you'd be right. All the evidence, including fingerprints, points to one man, Frank Hawthorne. So why isn't Frank Hawthorne the primary suspect? Because Frank Hawthorne died in a drunk driving accident. 24 hours prior to the deaths of the three murder victims. And the people of Red Falls believe that Mandy and Caitlin Winslow are using black magic to, what, raise the dead and create killer zombies? Kids today, huh? Mulder, you're not buying into that mob mentality. You can't tell me teenage girls with a high school interest in the occult have somehow managed to raise the dead. Hey, I've seen them do it on Buffy. Mulder, stop! Oh, God. Sir, hang on. I'm a medical doctor. I want you to let me open your jacket, okay? Mulder! I'm on it, Scully. Mulder, he's shot. Deputy, who did this to you? What's happening here? This is a bad dream, right? Mulder! I can't get a signal. I'm gonna find a hard line. Are you okay here, Scully? Yes, hurry. Miss, there's an officer who's been shot. Did you see what happened?
There's a man hurt outside. I need a phone. Step away. I'm a federal agent and I will fire. Scully, you all right? I'm fine, Motor. I heard gunshots. The service at JJ's leaves a lot to be desired. I'm guessing you had the same problem I did. The deputy had some kind of psychotic episode. I was treating him and he... Died. Scully? I thought I lost his pulse, but he certainly wasn't dead while he was attacking me. Look, the front door to the diner here is blocked, but I want to take a look around back. Mulder, we need to find the sheriff, Bud Smith. Maybe he knows what the hell's going on. I think we know, Scully. We need to find Caitlin and Mandy Winslow before this place turns into the thriller video. I'll meet you at the sheriff's station. I'll keep trying for an outside signal, but at least the two-way radio still works.
Mandy Winslow. They killed her.
Sheriff. Scully.
First, they're rising from the dead, and then they're taking cheap shots from behind. That's just bullshit. Mulder, are you all right? What happened? I found the deputy here trying to squeeze this man through the cell bars. Jaco. I was here earlier. I ran to get his heart medicine. Did you get a good look at the deputy, Scully? I shot this man. That's impossible. It's the hot new trend in town. Once one dead guy comes back, they all have to do it. I can't subscribe to the theory that these people were all dead, Mulder. 
They're suffering some acute delirium, resistant to normal thresholds of pain, like, like someone on PCP. Angel Dust users normally can't take a dozen shots to the chest, Scully. So, what then? Are you still suggesting that the two missing girls are witches and they're causing this? I found one of the girls, Mandy, dead, hanging in the center of town. And I think our sheriff, Bud Smith, is playing for the other team. It was his shotgun. I don't feel so good, but that thing bit me. He's going into anaphylactic shock. Scully, can you test the deputy for an infectious agent? If I had the equipment, Mulder. I was in the doctor's office before, but there's a crime scene lock on the door. Well, the sheriff should have a record of the combination here somewhere. <laughs> Scully, I got it.
Elder, you're hurt. I had to think that guy's a doctor. He bit you. I don't think I'm doing so good, Scully. Mulder, you're infected. I have to find out if the doctor passed some kind of toxin into your system. I'll make sure you have room to work. How do you feel? Better. Oh, but the way I did feel, I don't think our friend in the prison cell could have survived. I made three extra doses to counteract an infection just in case. I think that this rules out witchcraft, Mulder. Just because there's a medical cure doesn't rule out a paranormal cause. I should have stuck the syringe in your ass. <laughs> did I thank you for saving my life? What about the other sister, Caitlin? I don't know how to explain it, but somehow I know she's still alive. I've seen a vision of her. Cold and afraid. I, I don't know what it was. Well, the trailer park is south of here. Maybe there's an answer in her home.
keys. The tag on here says Hector's Garage. Hector's the stepfather? Yes. I passed the Hector's Garage on the east side, but didn't look in. Mandy's diary. Her last entry was two weeks ago, but she mentions a hideaway called the Wheelhouse. We'll save time if we split up. I'll check the garage. So long as it harms no one. My God, these are innocent girls. What happened to them? Where are you? Caitlin, you're looking for your sister. It's safe here. I'm so cold.
Mulder. Mulder, it's me. Find anything? Caitlin Winslow's diary. You were right, Scully. These girls had nothing to do with real witchcraft, but they were used for some larger purpose. To divert people from some sinister truth, something we're not seeing yet. We have to find her, Scully. Well, there's no sign of Caitlin Winslow here, but I found a spare key to wherever she works. Now, there are long rants in this diary about her asshole bosses at the shop, Easy. I'm looking at the map. That's in the northeast corner of town. From what I've seen, I don't know if we'll be able to find an open road through to there. Meet me at the fire station, Mulder. I think I have a way through. You with the auto club? I've been waiting. I trust you're man enough to work that thing. Man enough? Oh, why do you hurt me, Scully? The ladies first. Motor? I told you I didn't know how to work this thing. Now what? You keep going, Scully. I'll find another way around.
Should I grab a shopping cart? Can you make a joke in every situation, Mulder? Maybe someone is making a joke of our situation. Look what I found. The stiletto used to kill alien life with a stab to the back of the neck. Mulder, what does it mean? I don't know. She's hypothermic and in shock. We have to get her out of here. Caitlin, can you talk to us? Tell us what happened. I don't want to die. We're here to help you. The doctors wanted to help us. Why? Why did they do those things to us? Scully, take her out the back. Mulder, what about- Damn it, Scully, just do it.
Caitlin? What happened to you? Scully! Scully! Mulder, it's me. What happened? I was hit. The way you were yelling and drawing attention, we had to. You're lucky we didn't shoot first. Where are we? From what I've seen, this is an old Cold War fallout shelter. None of us even knew this place existed. So far, it's the only safe place from those damn witches. They're both dead. Caitlin and Manny Winslow died for no reason. They shared a connection that most of us can't comprehend. You're saying the girls were psychic? That's pretty outlandish. More so than calling them witches? I saw a large building in the mountains north of Red Falls. What is it? That's the old sanitarium, Briar Lake. Briar Lake. Scully, you ever hear of a Dr. Aaron Greenberg? Greenberg is a proponent of the link between quantum mechanics and parapsychology. And is said to have moved his research to a facility named Briar Lake.
Whatever happened in your town of Red Falls, I believe the answers can be found at Briar Lake. You talk like you know a lot of things, Mr. Mulder. You said none of you knew this bunker existed. How did you find it? That man who just left here, John. John Gilnitz. And someone here can vouch for this man? None of us knew him before this. I want you to organize everyone in this shelter and get them evacuated now. What? Why? Because this is a trap. Do it. I saw the name Gilnitz on a note on the sheriff's desk with the initials BL next to it. Briar Lake. And he was in Caitlin Winslow's diary. He drugged them, Scully. There, Mulder. John Gilnitz, stay where you are.
Billy, this cable car, it leads right up to Briar Lake. Mulder, all those people. We have to find out why this is happening, Scully. I know Gilnitz is up there. He has to answer. Mulder, they're coming. No power. There's no power. Scully, this cable car. Mulder, they're coming. Mulder! Mulder! What was that? My god, Gilnet set this. That was fun. 
think the fun is just beginning, Scully. What was that? Mulder, are you all right? I'm fine, Scully. Dr. Greenberg, the eminent parapsychologist. I think we're moving closer to the source of the illness.
Gilnitz, John V, listed in the personal records under something called Project Resonance. And so is Henry Dawson, the Red Falls doctor. Yeah, when someone bites me, I remember them. Is Frank Hawthorne there? The first murder suspect? Yes, he's here. Briar Lake is the hot zone, and Frank Hawthorne was patient zero. His accidental death released whatever it was that was incubating inside him. Are you saying they manufactured the virus here? At a facility you believe is dedicated to parapsychology? For what purpose? I don't know. Is there any data on Caitlin or Mandy Winslow? I can't get into patient files. I need a security password. See what you can find, Scully. I'm gonna take a look around. Look around for what? Gilnitz and Greenberg are here somewhere. They have to answer for what they've done. Come on, I know you're there. State your name and business. Guys, it's Mulder. Who? Spooky, come on, I don't have a lot of time. Hey, Mulder, what can we do you for? Mulder? Is the lovely Agent Scully with you this evening? Just assure me that you're all wearing pants. Agent Mulder, where are you calling from? Yeah, the security countermeasures are going ballistic. I'm at a secret research facility called Briar Lake. I want to know if you can hack into this computer and find me a code for the security system. On it, Briar Lake. We published a report in our lone gunman newspaper that they received a large financial subsidy from an anonymous donor. We want first dibs on this story for helping you, Mulder. Quid pro quo, Clarice. The interface is tricky. <laughs> for normal mortals. Here you go. Thanks, boys. Your kung fu is the best. I'll be in touch. You're a gentleman and a scholar. Be safe, Agent Mulder. Yeah. Hasta la vista, baby.
find something, Scully? Mulder, where are you? I just got on the elevator. I'm instinctively drawn to the basement. I found patient files on the Winslow girls, and what I can only describe as genetic maps. You mean some kind of DNA identification system? No, more than that. Their gene signatures were copied and used for something. This is genome mapping beyond any recognized scientific capability. Scully, I left a note in the security office that details how to make an access card for the elevator. I want you to see what you can find on the second floor. Yeah. Scully, I'm standing in a room with containers marked biohazardous material filled with what appears to be black oil. My God, Mulder. You have proof in front of you. And there's equipment. I I'm not sure I need you to look at it, but I think it's used for cellular manipulation, genetic cloning. I'm on my way.
Caitlin? Step away from the panel. You cloned those girls. You infected them with black oil, an alien virus, and made genetic copies of their mutated genes. I said before, you know a lot of things, Agent Mulder. And now I'm gonna kill you. Krychek? No, stop! No! Krychek, you son of a bitch! You got the gift I left for you, Mulder? In Red Falls, in the post office? What kind of game are you playing? You know this isn't a game. Take a look at what's happening down there. This is a war. And these fools, they've tried to defeat the devil by creating Frankenstein's monster. Drop the gun, or I'll shoot you where you stand. After I saved your life upstairs, Scully? Krychek, I will kill you. <clears throat> Mulder! What's down there? Your future, Mulder. You want to keep talking in riddles, or do you want to tell me what it is? Inside that shell, they're breaking through. There's an artifact. It's alien, Mulder. 
and I know you feel it. Mulder. Mulder, we have to get out of here. It's ha happening again. Crycheck! Mulder, come on! Mulder!
Yajdalvas, you will return to me. Mulder, what happened? What is it? I don't know, but they've taken the artifact. Red Falls, the whole town's in flames. The cover-up begins, and we come away with nothing, Skeletor. What is that? I don't know, but I hope there are answers here. He didn't have the reaction we expected. Just the opposite. I don't think Muller's gonna make it. That's unacceptable. The success of the project depends on the life and death of Agent Mulder. I've read both your reports. Despite the efforts of firefighters from surrounding counties, the town of Red Falls was razed to the ground. 
Agent Mulder, I'm aware of and disturbed by your sighting of Alex Krychek at the Briar Lake facility, as well as the bizarre circumstances under which an artifact he told you was alien in origin disappeared from that facility. An artifact emitting a force strong enough to regenerate life in a three-mile radius surrounding Briar Lake. Agent Scully, you mentioned evidence of a toxin? We did encounter a poisonous compound that I believe responsible for most of the deaths in Colorado. Hazmat crews scoured Briar Lake and were unable to come up with anything. The facility was stripped and abandoned. A well-funded program gets a grade A cover-up. I'd look for the union label on this one. Your sarcasm aside, Agent Mulder, I'm trying to help. Now, the three Colorado murder victims you originally went to investigate, their bodies actually made it out of there. I was able to quietly divert them to Quantico. I'll head right over. Good. This may be our only chance of producing tangible evidence. Unless you have something else. No. I have a director's briefing that I'm already late for. If there was a toxin, I want you two to make sure you're not suffering any residual effects. Update me after you've looked at those bodies. And Mulder, I suggest you step back from this case for a while. Mulder, I still don't know why you want to hide the encrypted disk I found at Briar Lake from Skinner. Getting those bodies to Quantico, he clearly wants to help us. It's not that I don't trust Skinner. It's who he reports to. Besides, I'd rather have that disk decrypted outside the normal channels. The assistant director is in a meeting. Mulder, shouldn't we get down to the office? Agents, I just got new spectrophotometric plates at the Amityville house, and I gotta tell you, the light quantum proportions are freaky. Hey, stop by, check it out. What are you doing? Are you lost or something? Agent Mulder, Agent Scully, I understand your X-File in Colorado didn't end well. Well, it's about time. Hello, man. I'm guessing you cracked the encrypted disk. It wasn't easy. There was some interesting non-linear sequencing to overcome. But the real trick was the language. You mean the programming language? No, we're talking native tongue. Once we broke the firewall, we found the text to be in Russian. Russian? The characters are Cyrillic, but once run through a simple translation sequencer... Voila! Presto changeo! Insert your exclamation of awe here. And buddy, I think you'll want to take a look at this. Tunguska. The Siberian prison camp, where you were held and infected with a virus. An alien virus, Scully. Don't leave out that important detail. What does it say? An artifact confirmed to be alien in origin was unearthed recently from the excavation site at Tunguska. Imagine the implications of such a find. Later in the report, it mentions possible experimentation by a corporation known as Rausch Biotechnologies. Do we know their location? There was nothing in the data, but... We can do some nosing around. We'll get back to you. Good work, guys. Marita, it's Fox Mulder. Is it all right to call you like this? Yes. I don't know if you're in a position to help me, like before. What exactly do you need, Agent Mulder? I'm sending you a file. I want you to read it. If you can help, meet with me. I'll see what I can do.
Scully, what did you find? What did I find? Mulder, you're hiding things from me. What are you talking about? There's something you're not telling me. What are you doing here? Scully, I called Marita Covarrubias. She can help us. You're a fool, Mulder. Do you really think you can trust her? Scully, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? Do you trust Marita Covarrubias more than me? Something's wrong. I, I want you to- Tell me what you know! Samantha? to spate. Ich warte nicht gerne. Do you know why you're here? This isn't real. I told you to back away from this case. Take the gun. Why? Take the gun, Mulder. Trust no one, Agent Mulder. What am I supposed to do? Kill him. Kill him, Agent Mulder. So helpless. To know that I can pull this trigger. I'm the reason you're alive, Fox. But while I hold this power, you'll learn that there is still a greater one. A power I need you to destroy. Now, kill him.
Hey, big guy. You feel any better? Mulder, you don't look well. You're infected. I need you to get in bed and lie down. We were able to find a direct link between Rausch Biotechnologies and the alien conspiracy. They're following a script right out of Plan 9 from outer space. Speaking of Plan 9, I'm still not convinced Edward's death wasn't political assassination. Of course, the dude knew way too much. Anyway, we were able to backtrace the digital data to its point of origin, and we reached a server containing files as far back as 1947. The Aurora Project. It's Roswell. We don't need to tell you that. It's every answer to every question we ever dreamed of. What's wrong, Mulder? We thought you'd be stoked. Mulder, I need to give you this injection. <laughs> Mulder, you're sick. Let me do this. Hey, big guy. Mulder, you're sick. Let me do this. Mulder? Hey, big guy. Mulder, you're ah. sick. Let me do this. Mulder? Hey, big. <laughs> Mulder, you're sick. Let me do this. Hey, big guy. Mulder, you're sick. Let me do this. Mulder? Hey, big guy. You feel any better? Mulder, you don't look well. You're infected. I need you to get in bed and lie down. We were able to find a direct link between Rausch Biotechnologies and the alien conspiracy. They're following a script right out of Plan 9 from outer space. Speaking of Plan 9, I'm still not convinced Edward's death wasn't political assassination. Of course, the dude knew way too much. Anyway, we were able to backtrace the digital data to its point of origin, and we reached a server containing files as far back as 1947, the Aurora Project. It's Roswell. We don't need to tell you that. It's every answer to every question we ever dreamed of. What's wrong, Mulder? We thought you'd be stoked. Mulder, I need to give you this injection. Mulder, you're sick. Let me do this. Mulder? Hey, big
Mulder, you're sick. Let me do this. Mulder? a disciple. You are not here to serve me. I can hear you. You're an assassin. What is this place? Your mind turning in on itself. You have found me. The same way I speak to the angels. The angels who will join me to deliver the last judgment, the day of reckoning. You have found me. What is that? What did you inject me with? Agent Mulder, you're hurting me. It's a shot to help you. Against the radiation coursing through you. Marita, how did you know? After reading the data you sent me, I knew you were possibly in danger. Then it's true. The artifact is alien, emitting a cosmic galactic radiation level strong enough to kill us. I have to call Scully. I did as you asked. I arranged travel for you on a Russian transport plane. If you're going to leave for Tunguska, it must be tonight. Scully. Scully, it's Mulder. Mulder, thank God. I need to see you as soon as possible. Our nervous systems are producing a substance akin to tetrodotoxin at lethal levels. Due to exposure to radiation, the CGR that emanated from the alien artifact. You know? How? I'm here with Marita Covarubias. She gave me an injection to counteract the toxin. Are you all right, Scully? Yes. I caught it in time. What is Marita Covarubias doing there? I asked for her help. She's arranged passage for me to Russia, Tunguska. 
I have reason to believe the artifact has been returned there, but I don't know for how long. Mulder, I'm here with the gunmen. I think they have a lead on this Roush Biotech Corporation. Do you think it's a good idea to be jetting off to Russia based on what? You have to trust me on this, Scully. Find what you can from Roush Biotech, but I have to go. Отдыхай, мы тебе поможем. Не бойся. American, I don't speak Russian. Of course, Mr. Mulder. You were pulled from the wreckage of Russian plane. We have taken care of you. Thank you for your help, but I have I have to go. You have my gun. I'm going to the camp. You need protection. I know about the tests. I know exactly what goes on there. Then you know what must be done. No arm. No test. No, 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 no. The smallpox scar is some kind of identification tag. You don't have to do this. Removing the arm does nothing. Мы спасаем тебе жизнь. I made it this far to get eaten by wolves.
Rita? Rita, where are you? They think you're dead. Who? Alex Krychek and the smoking man. What? They're here? You're working with them. You helped them to lead me here. Smoking man wants to use me to find a ship. Listen to me. Agent Scully is here. She has a helicopter waiting outside the south gate. Find her and go. Marita! Damn it! You're alive. How about that, Mulder? You're alive. For now. The devil who sent you believes that you are the tool of my destruction, but you are just a man. <clears throat> Scully. We have to get out of here. I saw Alex Krychek. And Cancer Man. What? That cigarette smoking bastard is here. Using me to locate a ship. What are you talking about? A spacecraft, which crashed to Earth almost 100 years ago. Somehow the virus that I was infected with, the alien virus, has connected me to the ship in a way. I can find this spacecraft, buried somewhere in the Siberian landscape. Somehow this machine has heightened my- Mulder, listen to me. I saw something at Rausch. A film of you and Cigarette Smoking Man. The brain operation that you had. He had genetic material taken from your brain and transferred to his. I don't understand. That would mean the genetic material we share, he would respond to the alien craft in the same way. Then why would he need me? Because going through this is killing you. Killing you both. We have to leave. Alex Krychek put me here, after he found out I lied to him. And that lie was? He believed you died when the Russian transport plane went down. Because I placed a tracking device in the diplomatic passport I gave you, I knew otherwise. To protect you, I allowed him to believe the lie. You worked with Krychek for the smoking man to lure Mulder here. Why bring him here only to try and save him? I believed the deception these men conceived would bring Mulder to a deeper truth. One that he needed to find. But I didn't know there was a power here. A force. A force. An entity that you've encountered. A man, a being, imbued with the alien power of the artifact. Once the shell containing the artifact was fractured at Briar Lake, this being became a conduit for that power. A power that smoking man believed you could resist. Resist the power to serve the interests of these men in the shadows. Where are they now? At this point, 
On their way with a special forces unit to find the alien craft. I don't expect any of them will survive. Run! Scully, are you all right? Yes. Where's Marita? Marita! We can't save her, Mulder. Krychek is here. Nearby. Mulder, we have a helicopter. If we can get to it, we can escape. Get back there and get ready to leave. I'll meet up with you. Mulder, it's called Ruby, Ruby is dead. dead. Krychek, you piece of shit, you know I'm gonna kill you. I'll take that as a yes. What you've done, Mulder, you have grown your usefulness. I don't know. Most people would consider a bullet in your skull pretty useful. Goodbye, Mulder. Crycheck is... Mulder. Cry check.
a dramatic entrance or a desperate cry for attention. There goes our ride out of here. feeling you're taking me to find a spaceship. Well, it's still hip to go there because not everyone knows about it yet. Mulder, this is exactly what they want you to do. No, not anymore. Krychek tried to kill us. He and Cancer Man had a reason to lead me here, but that plan's changed now. Mulder, if you're doing this, you're not doing it alone. Let's go. Show me a spaceship. I knew you were hip. Mulder, what is this place? Some kind of old ruins. It looks like Krychek used this for a staging area. They're draining the lake. There are more ruins out there. The ship is buried within them, somewhere below the surface of the water. This is proof, Mulder. I was able to retrieve the alien fragment from Rausch Biotech. If we study this fragment and it provides the evidence that we know it should, this is irrefutable proof of everything we've been searching for. The key to unlocking the answer to every question in the X-Files. What more do you hope to find here? The truth.
I think we hit shallow water here, Mulder. I can't see the bottom, Scully. Show yourself. Dead man, Crycheck! You don't have to do this! But you know I want to. Keep running, Crycheck. What is this? He's unconscious, Fox. I should kill you where you stand, you sick, twisted bastard. Alex is gonna pay for what he's done. He wanted to kill you, not me. He deceived me and tried to take something that doesn't belong to him. And it belongs to you? It belongs to all of us. You, more than anyone, deserve to see what's down there. A ship. More than that. The vision in our mind. It's real. You know what's down there. There's alien life in that ship, waiting to be reawoken. What have you done to me? I'm opening the door for you, Fox. The path is yours to take. But to reach the end, you must listen to this advice. Resist or serve.
Calder! Scully, look at the ceiling. Maybe there's a door through. I know I haven't been to church in a while, Scully, but this isn't what I remember. Is that him? The one that's causing all this? He looks... Normal. Maybe that's the wrong word. Scully, run! Scully, look at the markings on this door. I've seen this before, Mulder. Alien symbols. I think I can decipher this. It's here, just beyond these doors. And what do we do when we get there? I don't know. I'm just making it up as I go along. He derives his power from the artifact. We cut off his power source, we stop him. Or piss him off even more. You work on this door. I think I can find another way in. Any other words of advice? Resist or serve.
This isn't real. You're just a man. You believe that you can defeat me. Somewhere in your mind you think there is an answer. You believe that you can find... The answer. The tool of your destruction.
Scully, there's a ship down there. Mulder, we have to get out of here. There's alien life down there. Now, Mulder. Scully. There is pressure on this body from the Attorney General's office to put together an accurate picture of what happened in Red Falls, Colorado, as well as the Tunguska River region of Siberia. The pieces of this puzzle, as presented in both your reports, include an alien artifact with the power to raise the dead, a hidden biotech company funding a project to produce psychic clones, and a Russian man described here as an entity who somehow had the power to control an army of avatars and the undead. Look, your version of the facts read like the elements from a science fiction video game. If you want to characterize the truth as a video game, then you should stop the men who were pumping quarters into the machine. Countless numbers dead. Millions of dollars in debt. Damage. Do you think this is a joke, Agent Mulder? It's neither a game nor a joke. We were used by a shadow- By a shadow conspiracy of men within our government who wanted this alien power for their own purposes. I read the report, Agent Mulder. A serious accusation, but like so many other incredible and implausible entries in your story, I don't see how we can include it in our final report to the Justice Department. The one fact that remains undeniable is that you were exposed to unhealthy, mind-altering doses of radiation and toxins. Isn't that correct, Agent Scully? Correct. As is your description of these events as being incredible and implausible, but they are the truth. Frankly, Agent Scully, that sounds like something we would have expected from Agent Mulder. I bore witness to these events. I held tangible evidence of alien life in my hand. I don't doubt your sincerity, Agent Scully. But as a woman of science, you must appreciate our position, unless you're still in possession of this tangible evidence. Because this board is split on what the future of the X-Files office will be, I am going to defer to your direct supervisor, Assistant Director Skinner, to decide what action should be taken in this matter. Agents Mulder and Scully both ignored a direct request from my office to step away from their case after the tragedy in Red Falls. I would recommend an official reprimand for their actions, but I temper that with the fact that if not for their actions, more lives would have been lost. We will never fully understand how the pieces of this puzzle, as you describe it, fit together, which is exactly why the X-Files office should remain open. I'm just warning you to tread lightly, Agent Mulder. They're looking for any reason to shut you down. What, does Kirsch have us on double secret probation? Listen to me as your superior, at least listen to me as a friend of you and of the X-Files. Just what Kirsch wants. He keeps making us and Skinner look foolish. He'll ride this pony right to a promotion. The men behind this get what they want, a story of necessary and plausible denial, and we get sent back to the basement with the dunce caps on. Do you really believe that, Mulder? Is there no victory that you can take from this? We stopped them. I know it's not over, but we stopped them from winning this battle. How many more people would have died if we had failed? And the smoking man, Krychek, these men were left with nothing. I want to believe that, Scully, I do. But 
Now you're right. As long as we're together, it's a victory. <laughs>